So this was our, our original inspiration, this fragrance oil called Beach Daisies, which, oh, it smells so good. We can't wait to make a safe with it. And Red then reviews that say this accelerates slightly, and with the design we're doing today, we just can't risk it. So we're sad. We have to say goodbye to Beach Daisies until another day. But that's all right, because we have another great fragrance planned. We are going to use Litsy Cubeba and Spearmint Essential Oils, and it really does smell great together, doesn't it, Kim? Yes, it does. It's very fresh and gets great. I'm mixing colors. <laughs> Your favorite part? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What you got? This is 24 karat gold. I like that one. I love the way it looked in the spa for men. It looked very good in this buffer now, so we are putting lids on too because we know that if you don't put lids on, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you think it's going to work because out. Because I'm a klutz and I knock them off? No, I do too. <laughs> so this is, uh, what is this one? This is Sunburst Sparkle. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Is that a Rustic Essentials? Mm -hmm. And then this one is the 24 karat gold. Okay which will give us a little bit of detail in our flowers, we hope. No, we know. Yeah, right. <laughs> we sure do. Okay, there's that. And then I have to do some green, the pistachio. Yes. And then that's it. And I'm going to... Well, we're going to do the TD. The first yeah. thing we're going to do is mix our scents, which essential are... Essential oils. Essential oils, yeah. Which is Litzy, Cubeba, and Spearmint. Little you, baby. Yeah. Sorry. And um, it smells divine. And as you know, if you've been watching, because Allison's already put it on here, that we were going to use one called Beach Daisies, which was the inspiration for our picture. And we saw in the reviews, which we always read because they're very important. We just didn't read that one in time. No, we didn't. <laughs> um, that it probably wouldn't be a great idea for this because it does accelerate somewhat and that leaves a huge question in our mind as to what is somewhat. If we weren't doing such a intricate yes. design. Here we go. Goggles are on, gloves are on. Apron is on. Apron is Shoes on. on. Shoe, yeah. <laughs> Shoe, yeah. Okay. And this is, as you can see, quite a large batch. We use the same recipe for the psychedelic spinning swirl because we needed really thick bars of soap and we may um, wind up with huge bars of soap again this time. Well, that's all right. All right, now then. Yes, stick blend just to mm -hmm. know what it's pulse and then stir with the spatula pulse, pulse, and then let me see if it'll burp for me. <laughs> Right. I saw a trick that Amy uh, Warden from the Great Cake Soap Works had on her thing that she had seen from somebody else that if you pick up your stick blender and it's clear, then it's not emulsified quite yet. It needs to be kind of opaque. -ish. And I don't think we're there yet because I still see what we call strings, but it's essentially unmixed soap. Just where everything has to be yeah. found. Oops. Okay. So it's, it's getting it's there. It's getting there, yeah. I'm going to do it a couple more times. seeing anything or not? I can't. What do you mean? The strings, the unmixed I stuff. See, I, think it's, I don't see any. I mean, it's emulsified. Yeah, I think it's mixed well enough. Did um, we just bring it to emulsification last time? Yep, okay. we sure did. And we, the, the big debate was like, is it or isn't it emulsified? And it's, it is definitely sticking to the blender. Sticking. It's not clear. And my hands are not working correctly here. Oh. Did that? Nope. Yay for goggles! I know. No, it didn't even splatter, thank okay. goodness. You are going to pour, pour it in here? In there so that we okay. can control how much right. we pour. So, 
I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll see. You can add more. Yep. All right, so now what we're going to do oh, is... You want? We'll make more. We're going to do it in the... Into those mm -hmm. little things. And this is just left over. I don't know how much to do. We don't really need much. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough? Yeah. And then we'll stir this together. This is our Brambleberry Fizzy Lemonade. And we are literally using the dregs. We wanted to use it, so we <laughs> just added oil we to We added the oil container <laughs> so we could get every last And drop. the same thing with the... Is that green, green chrome? Yes. Green chrome oxide? Mm -hmm. That's good, brother. We don't really need much more than that, I don't think. No. All right, there's that. Okay, now and pour the rest into the ketchup bottles. Okay. We need four. And we don't need a whole lot. One. Now, here's my only thought, right? because I don't have many, um, is if we end up needing more green or yellow or white, mm -hmm. once we color that blue, we don't have anything left. So do you want to leave some in reserve just in case we need a little more? I can. That might not be a bad idea. Okay. Do you need another bowl? No, she's um, got another one right there. Right there. This? Yeah. Okay, so just dump some in here? Yeah, just in case we need a little more. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't, we'll just pour it into, you know, some of the mold. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm gonna yeah, hold that much. We should need all right, so now. So I'm going to show. We're just holding. That much left? Yeah. Because okay. we won't need. So now we're doing dark blue. And one. We want to have more dark blue or more light blue? Uh, do we care? We don't care. Okay. Here goes the dark blue. Oops, you can't see it. No. Sorry. It's okay. I forget. I could see a little bit. All right, here we go. You forget it's what? It's lighter. I don't really want to stick blend this because I don't want to give it any more juice. Well, you know, thinking. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. And if it's a little bit squirrely, it's okay because um, swirly or squirrely? Squirrely, because it's going to be swirled together anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's the one. And yes, if you point that. Here's this. Yeah, it's funny, it looks darker. I know than the other one did. Mm -hmm. I know, so here's the other. This is our lighter blue. Hopefully, our. Alright, so now we decided we would do... You know what? Do you think there's enough of a difference between those two blues? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Look. Okay. Remember, what, what, do you want to add more white to it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll scrape this in there and see what happens. I, don't, I really don't want to stop and... We don't have time to stop mm -hmm. and mix up more. Put the, the white wishes. Okay, I'm going to pour the dark. Can we see, is it in the right frame here? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to come pour one while you're pouring the other? And do it no, I'm going to do the darker and then I'm going to. Did you? Okay. Yeah. So there goes the dark. Okay. And it really smells great. Yeah, it really does. To say. do it deep the first time so that when it's, we actually cut in this soap we'll have a little bit of a some swirling. swirl and then I'm going to come and see if it will go I can get it's still going to swirl yeah. 
So maybe it's just gonna, there it's coming up a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty. That is very pretty. A yakety yuck. That is so freehand. That's, I like it that way. Well, it'll be swirled underneath, mm -hmm. you know, because it went deep. Right. Because I don't I hate to cut a bar and it just be... Blah. Yeah. And then what I think I'm going to do with this, before we actually do our other stuff, mm -hmm. is maybe swirl it a little? Yeah, just take the chopstick and go... Um, well, you know, some of those had um, just like little dots of stuff on it that we looked at, some of the actually Hebrew um, paper, paper marble. Paper yeah, marble? Yeah, just like splatters of mm -hmm. paint on it, mm -hmm. which was way cool. Yeah. Alright. Yay? Yay. Alright, done. Okay. And now... Uh, oh my god. Now, so should I or should I, I... I think I'm just going to leave it. I can't see because I'm all sweaty. Your mouth eyes are fogging up. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave it. What do you think, Al? Well, do a I, think swirl? I, I think I would swirl it a little because okay. we, we want our stems to... Okay, so just... Yeah. Okay. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. So now we have a marble background. Looks like waves. Like ocean waves. Exactly. Is that what it's right. supposed to look like? That's gorgeous. All right. No, we don't, we're just flying blind here, basically. No, we, our creative juices are flowing. Oh, yeah. This right. is an organic... Okay. Before I do anything else, what? I'm gonna need more of the dark green well, oh, for the flowers. Yeah, you do need just a little bit. See, are we glad we saved yeah, some? Yeah, so this is, I'm gonna make a little more of the dark green. It won't be quite as dark. But that's all right. I'll probably drop it right in the middle of the side. Shh, don't say that. Myself. Don't say that. All right, so now, we need more droppers or no? No. Okay, white first. Mm -hmm, Cause this is the, this is, oh. <laughs> this okay. is the outside shape. Woo, wow. Oh, yeah, well, you know what Amy said. Yeah. What did Amy After say? After you shake it, it builds up pressure, and when you move your finger, it goes and shoots out. Ah, oh, smart. Okay. So shake it, wait, wait. Before you put it over the soap, turn it upside down and get it down in the nozzle so that it doesn't splurt out where you don't want it. You know what I mean? There you go. It's pretty runny. Yeah, good. That's what we All want. right. So, here. Make a big circle because we're not going to put any more white. Too much. That's all right.
Okay, and so this is, are, you, are, we, are we filming? We're right. Okay, yeah, this is the, the finished product. Um, ah, for better or for worse. Um, I love it. Yeah, it's very pretty. Um, this is it. I said, if I say um one more time, I'm going to hit myself. Um, <laughs> and I just did. said it. I said it. <laughs> anyway, that's this, whatever with this is. The, Our the, Beach the, Daisies the, inspired the, design. Our Ebrew swirl. Ebrew right? swirl. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. This is where I'll probably drop it. Oh, don't even say that. No, I know. All right. Oh. Okay. I just want to try to. Oh. I know. Seriously. Mm. There. Okay. So at least every one of the bars is going to have a little bit, a little of bit of a flower on it. That's why. That's why we went ahead and did these in the corners because yeah. otherwise it would be just a Plainly. vacant thing. Yeah, it's. I think it's pretty good looking. Yeah, I do too. I like Are it. Are they nice size bars? They're pretty. Oh big yeah, they're good size bars. And then maybe I'll take my camera and do a real good close up of this this uh, background swirls. I really like that one oh, too. Yeah. I love that. It looks way cool. So that's okay. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we'll see. The last shot will be the cut soap, and we appreciate you watching Soap Lily Soaps. See you next time. Okay. And so here is our ebrew, and this is what it looked like when it came out of the mold, and it, the colors really stayed. Um, I'm still so pretty bright. I think. Can you zoom in on the the background, which I think is kind of cool? Anyway, there's a. Mm. Can you see that? Yeah. Want me to take it over by, over here? Mm -mm. No, no, no. It. But you can see the swirls in the background yeah. of the. Yeah. And even the swirls in the little center of the flowers mm -hmm. is kind of cool. All right. So now we're gonna take it out of the mold, and you can actually see in the back where it's. Uh, the two different colors. Yeah.